And on the 20th anniversary of 9-11, former President George W. Bush paid tribute to the victims, first responders, veterans in uniform, and indeed all Americans. The former president spoke at the Flight 93 National Memorial in Chinksville, Pennsylvania, and he also is set to speak at his presidential library at SMU shortly. Here's Jack Fink. Former President George W. Bush and First Lady Laura Bush are hosting a screening of a new documentary by Apple and the BBC called 9-11 Inside the President's War Room. Earlier today, he honored the memories of those on United Flight 93 who fought back against the terrorists who hijacked their plane. The 33 passengers and seven crew of Flight 93 could have been any group of citizens selected by fate. In a sense, they stood in for us all. The terrorists soon discovered that a random group of Americans is an exceptional group of people. The former president and Vice President Kamala Harris both addressed several hundred family members of those who were killed on Flight 93. The passengers heading from Newark to San Francisco attacked the terrorists, who then decided to crash the plane in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. As the attacks unfolded, then President Bush was reading to elementary school students in Sarasota, Florida, when his chief of staff, Andy Carr, told him the U.S. was under attack. Days afterward, the president spoke on a bullhorn to firefighters and construction workers at Ground Zero, a moment that may forever be ingrained in the nation's collective memory. Today, Mr. Bush spoke about the mix of emotions so many felt after the attacks. There was horror at the scale of destruction and awe at the bravery and kindness that rose to meet it. There was shock at the audacity, audacity of evil and gratitude for the heroism and decency that opposed it. The actions of an enemy revealed the spirit of a people. Former President Bush also drew a sharp contrast to how unified the country was 20 years ago, he says, and how he sees it today. More on that, plus his remarks here at the Bush Library coming up tonight at 10. In Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.